was good everybody this is the one and only gm and today i'm gonna make a tier list on all the tekken games i'm gonna rank all the tekken games from worst to best also this is just my opinion all right you know everybody got different opinions on what tekken games they think is good or bad but this is my this is just my opinion on what tekken games i think are real good and the ones i think are bad because I've been playing Tekken the tournament since Tekken 5. I played Tekken 4 high level. And I played a lot of the older Tekken games when I was a kid. So, I'm going to be ranking all of them. And yeah, let's let's get to it right now. Um, Let's start in the bottom, right? What is the worst Tekken game in general? Tekken 1 is a classic, but it's obviously the worst Tekken game. It's the first one. It's super dated. You know, the graphics are ugly, very limited, pretty broken. So I'll put that at the bottom. Of course. I think everybody will agree with that. Um, let's let's keep it going. Tekken 2 is actually pretty good. But I'll put Tekken 2 like in C. Tekken 2 is not bad. Tekken Revolution is really bad. I wouldn't even consider that Tekken. That joint had like a meter and all types. just terrible. I think I played that game like two times and then I flushed it. Because that game, that game came out when uh, Tag 2 came out. Tekken 3D Prime, that's basically just Tag 2. So you can put that like right there. It's basically Tag 2. Tekken 3 is a classic. Super classic can't you can't put that that's one of the better Tekken games um let's see i'm actually one of the people that like tekken 4 so i'll put tekken 4 right around here tekken 4 is like for as a casual person and all the content that game had that game was godlike it's just on a pro level it was terrible but other than that that game was like the full package so Tekken 4 was just good for casual play, but for tournament play, it was terrible because of the Gen Infinite, the, the you know, the Laser Scraper Boys, and all the other Infinites because of some stages was bad, like the Arena stage was banned because you could do like down one chop Infinites with Paul Heihachi. There was a lot of banned stages. I think the only stage that was, the Arena stage was probably the only one that was allowed in tournaments, I don't remember, but it was a lot of broken stages. So a lot of stages, the game was so unbalanced that stages were banned. All right, let's keep it going. Tag one. Yep. One of the first balanced Tekken games. Balance, really solid. Spacing, movement. It's pretty limited because it's old, but it's still one of the better games. Um, Tekken 5.0 is rough. <laughs> it's mad fun. Don't get me wrong. And it's the first type of game I played. But that game is rough. That game is super duper rough. Like mad rough. It's really broken. Mad Infinite is a rough ass game. Steve Infinite. Nina. Top tier Oki. Ryan 1 2 1 Snake Edge. Ganru was cheesy. Mishima was cheesy. It was just a really cheesy game. Tekken Tag 2. Mmm. Well, let's let's keep going up. I think Tekken Six is one of the best Tekken games, easily. Actually, th these are gonna be my top tier games. This is just my opinion. Tekken Five DR, God like the most balanced Tekken game ever made. You could win with anybody. Movement was good. Poking was good. No comeback factors. Extremely good game. Extremely good. It's just, it's just a beautiful game. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. Had everything. Tekken 6 had the rage thing. And it had some unbalanced stuff. Like, like you know, like the top tiers. Bruce, Lars, and Bob and stuff like that. But it's still more balanced than the other Tekken games. You could pretty much win with anybody in this game. And plus, I traveled a lot for this game. It was just a really fun time. Pretty damn solid game. Very fundamental based. It's a, it was a great game. Uh, Tag 2... Tag 2 is kind of iffy, the, the, the rank, but I don't think Tag 2 is that great. Like, it was cool, but 
Like, it was really broken, and it had a lot of silly stuff, but it's still better than Tekken 7. I think Tekken 7 is, like, pretty bad. I'll put Tekken 7, like, like right here, I think. Let me see where I put Tekken 7. Because I like, I like Tekken 5 more than Tekken 7. So I'll put Tekken 7 right there. And Tag 2, I'll put Tag 2, like, around here. Actually, Tag 2 is... is it's not the best game, but it's not the worst neither. But it does have a lot of silly stuff. I'll put it right here. Like, Tag 2 is not bad. It has some broken stuff, but it's not as bad as, like, 7, 4, or 5. Like, you could, like, it did have some cheesy stuff. But since it's a tag game and there's so many teams and stuff and so many different ways and strategies you could come up with to get better at the game, it was kind of unlimited with the things you could come up with. But in all, the best, the most solid Tekken games to me is 5 and 6. 5 and 6 are the most solid Tekken games. Because, yeah, 6 came, that's when the, the comeback factor started coming out. But it's still better than the armor moves and rage arts and all the crazy stuff that Tekken 7 had. And the broken stuff that Tekken 4 and 5.0 have. So, yeah, man, that's my opinion on all the Tekken games. I hope you guys liked it. Um, when Tekken 8 comes out, Tekken 8 might be S-Class. All the content they put in for offline, the tutorials, the story mode stuff, the customization. It might be A-Tier. It might be A-Tier. Because Tekken 5 had good customization in Tekken 6, but Tekken 7 had bad customization. And then Tag 2 was pretty good. So, we you see what, um where Tekken 8 ranks but that's it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll come over with a, a new video the next time you heard so everybody take care and peace out latest